it's raining and I'm getting distracted so easily. I love rain. I mean, is there anything better than rain? I don't think so. Okay, sorry. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Hello and welcome back. My name is Franny and this is my November book haul. I'm pretty excited about this book haul because I got three books, two of which I've already read, <laughs> which is like the first time ever. I'm nailing this shit and then I got four graphic novels and two of them I'm going to be reading very soon for an upcoming readathon. I'm going to be participating in the Tis the Seasonathon and I cannot wait. I'm so excited, but still, let's not get distracted. Let's go back to the books that I'm going to show you now. So, the first book that I got is Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. And you all know what this book is about, just in case you've been living under a rock for the past four years, I think. This is a companion novel series about a boarding school called Wayward Children's School and this school is for children who have accessed through magical portals to other worlds and now that they've come back to our world they kind of need to adjust because they're pretty lost and they're having problems coping with everything and this first installment focuses on Nancy. She's been to the Hall of the Dead and her parents think that she's been abducted, but of course that's not true. Um, so she goes to this boarding school and after she gets there, people start to get murdered and so she and other characters are going to try and figure out what's happening and who's behind these murders. And I really, really enjoyed this book so, so much. I was not expecting it to be honest because like retellings and portals and fairy tales are not really my thing, but it was so weird and kind of confusing but in a good way and it was so wonderfully queer. The main protagonist is asexual and there is another character that I really really liked. I hope that there is going to be at some point a book written by his perspective. He is a transgender character and I cannot wait to continue with the series because the next companion novel is about Jack and Jill and I loved them so so much. Their characters are so weird and interesting and I cannot wait to learn more about them. Next is the other book that I read and you guys, this book, I just, I'm gonna cry. So it is These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. I discovered this book thanks to Alex. I will leave the link to his channel in the description down below. I just love him so much and Spoiler alert, it's my favorite book I've read this year. I cannot even describe to you right now what this book means to me. I loved it. I laughed, I cried as I listened to the audiobook and then I also wanted the physical book because it's my favorite book of 2019 and I needed to have the physical copy in my hands. I wanted to hold it close and kiss it and just thank it so much for what it gave to me. I felt so represented in this book. The main protagonist is a lesbian and she falls in love with a bisexual character. I, I just felt so represented and I enjoyed listening to it so so much. I found it so relatable and real and there was magic because this book is of course about witches as the title suggests and basically the main protagonist is a teenager witch that lives in Salem and apparently there's a blood witch or maybe a witch hunter in town and her coven is in danger and she needs to ask her ex-girlfriend's help to figure out who is a threat to their lives. I, I just, I loved Hannah, the main protagonist and I have a huge crash. On Morgan, the bisexual character. I just loved her so, so much. She was so sweet and she blushed and she had red hair and I was just like, I just loved this book with my whole heart and I'll tell you more about it in my top books of 2019. But just Alex, thank you so, so much. And I cannot wait for the sequel next year. I can't wait. That got pretty emotional pretty fast. So the next book that I got is City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. 
this is first of all huge and second of all it's the first installment in a series that takes place in 18th century Cairo and I've been hearing nothing but great great things about this book and the series as a whole. The third book is coming out next year and I still have to read the first one which is so not okay and I cannot wait to read this. The main protagonist in this book is a con woman and she releases a djinn during one of her cons and that's gonna cause a lot of trouble. This book is supposed to be kind of politically heavy which is what I love in fantasy books so I think I'm going to love this one and I cannot wait. Now on to the graphic novels. The first graphic novel that I have to show you is Relish by Lucy Nicely and this is a graphic novel about food which is like do I need to say anything else really? So I got this book a few weeks ago when it was in Rome. I went to Rome for a weekend to meet with Chantal from Book Hands. I love her channel so much and she hasn't uploaded a video in so long and that is not okay because she was great and I love her so so much and she needs to come back to booktube like right now um, but after two years of talking we finally got to meet in person. She's from Canada and it was just the best weekend ever and there's a vlog coming up so stay tuned for that and Lucy Nicely is one of our favorite um, graphic novel artists she loves her and we went into an indie bookstore in the center of Rome that had mostly English books so yeah, I wanted to buy something in that bookstore to support it because it was amazing. And when I saw this book, it was like fate. This whole thing is about food, you guys. It's a graphic novel about food. There's a chapter about croissant, which is like, they're here as well. It's all croissant. And she wrote me something here, of course. And I just, this book is so precious to me. And this is one of the two graphic novels that I'll be reading for the Tis the Seasonathon. So I'm so excited. The other graphic novel that I'll be reading for the Tis the Seasonathon is La Ragazza Neno Schermo. This is a French graphic novel. Unfortunately, it hasn't been translated into English yet, but I really hope it happens. First of all, can we just look at this cover, please? This is like, everything. This is about two women, an illustrator from France and a photographer from Quebec and they meet on the internet and they start talking and they fall in love and I just, I, I, I cannot wait. I just love the art inside. I just love it. I find it so terribly cute. I just love everything about this graphic novel. I cannot wait to read it and talk to you about it. I'm just, I am so ready. I'm so ready for queer graphic novels, you guys. You just, I'm so happy. Next up is Alice, Di Sogno in Sogno. This is a graphic novel by Giulio Macaione. And the great thing about this, okay, so this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, of course. And the thing is, there's an English edition of this graphic novel called Alice from Dream to Dream, published by Boombox. The English edition of this book came out before the Italian one. I don't know what happened there, but that's weird. But you guys, I love Giulio Macaione as an illustrator and as a storyteller. This summer I read La Stella del Mare and it's one of my favorite books of this year as well, one of my favorite graphic novels ever. I love his art style so so much, just let me show you, it's colorful and I just love the drawings and the lines and everything, like this is the kind of art that I absolutely adore and I mean I had to get the Italian edition because he's an Italian author but also because it was so cool you guys, wait, see? I just love it. I just love when they do these things. I am so excited. I cannot wait. It's gorgeous. I love it. And the last graphic novel that I have to show you is the one that I got from my local library and it is La Differenza Invisibile. Once again, this is a French graphic novel that has been translated into Italian but not 
into English yet, unfortunately, and I don't know much about this graphic novel. I know that it is about a 27-year-old woman who suffers from the Asperger syndrome, and I've never read a book or a story of any kind that features a protagonist or a character that suffers from that syndrome so I'm really interested in learning more. I have to get this back to the library by the end of the month so I just think that I'm going to sit down today and read it. It has a very peculiar um, art style that I think changes a lot um, throughout the graphic novel. I mean it's kind of the same but at the same time it isn't really I suck at describing graphic novels, but yeah, I think it's pretty interesting and hopefully I love it. These are all the books that I got in the month of November and honestly, I think that this is one of the best book hauls that I've ever done because I'm genuinely so excited about all of these books and I've either already read them or plan on reading them very soon which has me so so excited and happy and yeah let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books if you would like to what you think about them and let me know what books you got in the month of November and which one you cannot wait to read and I wish you all a great day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Warm hugs!